All right, guys, so this video that you're watching right here, right now, this is my 200th video on YouTube. So for my 200th video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. And for this video, I want to blow your mind. I want to share with you something that, as far as I know, has never been presented on YouTube, never been shown on television, and that is I have figured out how to live for 10,000 years and I know what some of you guys are thinking you're thinking oh yeah he's gonna die and go to heaven for 10,000 years and no I mean here on the planet living breathing walking <laughs> for 10,000 years and if you kind of wrap your mind around how long that really is I'll watch generations be born grow old and die generation after generation after generation and for, from certain perspectives I will actually appear to be virtually immortal because <laughs> I will live so long and there's only two things I need to live 10,000 years and one of them is some of the theories from Albert Einstein and the other thing is a mouse alright so you guys know I breed snakes and in order to breed snakes you need mice and luckily I have a plentiful supply of mice here in my room, my reptile room and in addition to the mice, we'll get to the mice a little bit later, we, it's, it's essential to have mice for this and uh, the other thing we need is some theories from Albert Einstein so Einstein, he was, he was one of the, probably one of the smartest people on the planet uh, probably in all of history, I dare say, <laughs> and some of his theories are, are astounding. I, it's, some of them, I'm just still trying to wrap my head around them. And, and he kind of proved the theory that time is not not consistent, and time is not set, time is flexible. Time changes depending on where you are. For example, if you are at sea level, you're actually aging a little bit slower than I than I am up here in the mountains and over our whole life uh, you probably live one second longer experiencing one second because of the difference in time as a matter of fact the satellites traveling above the earth they're further away from a gravitational mass so we have to actually adjust the clocks on a satellite because of the time difference they experience time different than we experience it here on the planet. As a matter of fact, if you get closer and closer to black hole, time really slows down to, and it almost freezes when you get to the event horizon. But we're not really talking about time travel <laughs> in this episode. What we really want to talk about is Einstein's theory of general re relativity. Okay, so the theory of relativity, I'm going to boil it down real quick, a one minute example, and make it really clear, it's really easy. Uh, it can be kind of complicated on the surface, but once you dig into it. So, say for example, you and I, we walk onto a, a train, and we start going down the tracks, down the, the train tracks, and you're standing in front of me, and I have a duck egg. <laughs> and I drop that duck egg, and it, of course it it, it goes straight down, and, it's, and it goes splat on the floor. And, and so I ask you, uh, which direction did the duck egg fall? And you're going to say, uh, of course it went straight down in a straight line right to the floor. And from your perspective, that duck egg went from my hand to the floor. And I'll say, I'll bet you $100 that you're wrong, <laughs> that it didn't go straight down, and you're like, oh, no, no, I'll, okay, I'll bet you $100, I'm sure I'll stand in front of you, that duck egg went straight to the ground. So, here's another uh, example of the same situation, there's a guy on the side of the train tracks, and he's watching the, the train go by, <laughs> and when I drop the egg, I'm dropping it over here, and by the time it hits the ground, it's over here. <laughs> From his perspective, the duck egg actually didn't go down in a straight line, it went at an angle. And if you go up to that guy and say, which direction did the duck egg fall? He'll say, I bet you $100, that duck egg went at an angle, I saw it. <laughs> so that's the difference in relativity. As a matter of fact, if you're standing 
if you're in a spaceship outside of the galaxy, uh, they say our whole galaxy is traveling through space at almost the speed of light, and from a stationary point outside of our galaxy, that duck egg would appear to be approaching the speed of light. <laughs> so that is the difference in uh, perspectives based on the theory of relativity. Okay, now that we know that the theory of relativity can change your perception about the truth of what reality is, I want to move to the mice. <laughs> so, so you may have gone to the, the pet store with, with one of your kids and, and, uh, and said, hey, let's, let's get a first pet for, for our kids. And, and you buy a mouse, and you set it up in a cage, and a few months later, the, mo the mouse dies. And you're kind of scratching your head, and you're thinking, well, what's wrong with my mouse? So you go back to the pet store, buy another mouse, and set it up in your aquarium, or whatever you got, your cage, <laughs> and six months later, the mouse dies. So let me tell you, let me tell you about mice. Mice have a lifespan of one year. It's, it's pretty amazing. And after, after eight months, they're too old, to get pregnant. They're in their elderly years, so eight months to, to a mouse is like being 80 years old <laughs> to us. And then they live, you know, 12 months, it's like being 100 years old to us. So, so if you think about the difference between mice and man, they're living at a rate that is 100 times faster than we are. So, so for example, if I go up to my, my rodent rack, I have these rodent racks here, with all my mice and rats, they're all automated. The, the water feeds them and, and gives them water. And I have the food in the back. And I don't even have to look at them for a whole week. And, and I put, check, take a look at these mice up here. So these mice, two weeks ago, these mice were juveniles. And I put them up here in the mouse rack. And within two weeks, they aged relatively an equivalent of four years in mouse years. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So every day that goes by is like a hundred days for a mouse. So every three and a half days is a year. So every week that a mouse lives, it's actually two years <laughs> in mouse terms. So, so, if you, so if you look at a mouse compared to a human, we live we live a hundred times longer. So you, so you figure in mouse years, we actually live 10,000 years. <laughs> and in my whole life, if I live to be a hundred, I will be 10,000 mouse years old, which is, which is pretty amazing. And, and, and it's all relative to the mouse. So if the mouse sees us, you know, the, the mouse looking back at us, you know, it has babies and two months later, those babies have babies, and then two months later, those babies have babies. So I'm literally watching generation after generation after generation of mouse mice being born, growing old, and dying. <laughs> it's it's amazing, and, and and the population growth is unbelievable. Each mouse, these are really highly productive mice. They can have 16 babies at a time, and if I didn't have my snakes here, this place would be overrun with mice. Let me tell you, <laughs> it's 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 pretty amazing. So the really neat thing I think about having mice is it's really an uh, uh, interesting study in population dynamics and just watching generation after generation kind of grow old and, and have babies and pass away and you can watch, it's, it's, just, it's literally like, uh, for example, if, if there was a being outside of what we know is reality <laughs> and, and, and say that being would live for 10,000 years. So if you think back 10,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, the, I looked it up on the internet and they estimate that the total global population on planet Earth was 5 million people. And now it's 7.5 billion <laughs> instead of 5 million. And, and every month, we add another five million now, which is pretty amazing. So, can you imagine if 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 I let if if I didn't have population control on these and they just blossomed where you know the the population grew exponentially, kind of like it is here on planet Earth, 
and and if you think about it in terms of of our planet, you know, we're, people are looking at all, all the different problems, the pollution and the global warming and everything, and really, I think the root of the problem is our population explosion, and there's really no solution I think that anybody can come up with but if you're the if you're the 10,000 year old being looking at planet earth it's, it's kind of like me looking at these mice you know we're coming to the end it's it's close <laughs> I would say within you know a couple years of that beings life which would be probably you know five or six hundred years down the road so I can remember back when when the population on the planet was five billion in my lifetime. That was not very long ago, <laughs> maybe 30, 40 years, <laughs> and now it is 7.5. So it, it, we have 50% more people everywhere on the planet. And every, I mean, if you think about every few 30, 40 years, adding another 50% of the people, it's not sustainable. And where is it going to end? And what are we going to do when we run out of? space and resources and I think right now we're kind of living in the good times because <laughs> we have all the resources all the people all the support the doctors the scientists to figure out all the problems and we're, we haven't hit the end of the road yet and and it's not going to hit uh, until after we are long gone so <laughs> but it's really interesting to compare the the dynamics of the, the population dynamics of the planet and historically how it's grown compared to these mice it kind of opens up my eyes and according to these mice you know if these mice look me in the eye I will live so long compared to mice a mouse they, they would think that I'm almost immortal <laughs> in their perspective relative to how, how long they live so I thought it was an interesting study and I thought I'd bring you along for the crazy ride <laughs> so thanks for watching and I will see you next time